good day i welcome you all at the current lecture on the numerical problem solving of a 3 inch arch of the subject structural analysis 1 and the related subject code is pepc503 and model number is 2 myself sandeepan shah assistant professor for the department of civil engineering of greater kolkata college of engineering and management under jas group let us first have a look on the topics that we are going to learn in this lecture in this lecture we will solve another problem on three hinge arch let's do a another problem on three hinge arch that is this one as shown in the figure so as per the problem we have a central rise of 8 meter along with a span of the three inch arch is 40 meter the three inches are situated at a c and b in case of the loading the three inch arch carries a uniformly distributed load that is here of 20 kN per meter over the left half of the span that is from here to here that is the left part of the span along with a concentrated load of 100 kN which is acting at the right quarter span point that is here so in this problem we have to find we have to find out the reaction at the supports that means we have to calculate va and vb along with the normal thrust and shear at a section 10 meter from the left support that is somewhere between here so we have to take a section where all the necessary calculations are to be done and this section situated at a 10 meter distance from the left support so somewhere between here so the distance is 10 meter from the left support now let us solve the let us solve the problem one thing to keep in the in the mind that this particular arch is a circular arch so let us first solve the problem and in order to do so we have to calculate the vertical reaction va and vb that is this is va and this is vb first to calculate va and vb taking moment about p we have total summation of moment about p equals to 0 as this is a as this b is a thin support so we have va into 40 Minus twenty into twenty into thirty minus hundred into ten. We are considering the moment caused by the. Particle support at A as positive because we are taking the clockwise moment as positive and the anti-clockwise moment as negative. So this particular moment is 
is in the clockwise direction and this moment is in the anti clockwise direction followed by this moment so these two moments that is this and this are negative and this one is positive so total equals to zero that is the total summation of the moments are is zero so calculating we have p a equals to 325 kilo newton from this we can get vp which is equals to 175 kilo newton as va plus vp equals to 20 into 20 plus 100 and from this we get the value of vb as we have already calculated va so from the calculation we get the va as 325 kN and vb as 175 kN now let us calculate the horizontal thrust that is h so in order to calculate we have to take the moment about point c and summation of moment about point c equals to 0 as c is at as at the c point there is a hinge that is here and from this point up to this point the distance is 10 meter so taking moment about c on the right hand side so we have vb into 20 minus h into h and 100 into 10 again i am reminding that we are taking the forces on the right hand side that is at the this side of the arch that is the right hand side of the arch so the summation of all the moments here equals to 0 and we have already calculated vb that is 175 kN so putting the value of 175 at vb we get h equals to as 312.5 kilo newton so we have h equals to 312.5 kilo newton now as per the next part of the calculation we have to calculate the normal thrust and shear at a section 10 meter from the left support that is at this point suppose this point then point the name of the point is d so the point d is situated at a 10 meter distance from the left hand support that is from a so we have to calculate the normal thrust that is this one and shear at this point that is at point d to calculate the normal thrust and shear at point d we need to understand the properties of circle as we are dealing with a three hinge circular arch so first let us draw the detailed geometry of the circular arch so here we have the arch where the hinge points are here 
that is 1.1 1 .1 hinge is here one hinge at the crown and one hinge here that is at a c and d and we are given the span of the arch as 40 meter which is l and we have the central height that is 8 meter which is equals to h now we have to calculate the normal thrust and shear at point d that is here so as this is the this circular arch is a circle is a part of a circle so this circle have a uh, uh, has a center so let us look at the center of the circle if we draw the radius let us assume that the center of the circle will be lying somewhere here and the center is O. Now let us connect OD. The angle between OD and OC that is theta. Then draw a perpendicular from point D on the line OC. So we have point P. So we are getting a rectangle from this geometry that is O P T. O means this point. P means this point and D means this point and these three points together form this triangle O P D and from the properties of circle we have so from the properties of circle we have H into 2R minus H into sorry this equals to L by 2 into L by 2 where R is the radius of the circle which is OC that is OC is the radius of the circuit. C means this point and O means this point. That is the center of the circuit. So we have H equals to 8 meter that is here and L equals to 40 meter that is here. So putting the value of L and knowledge we get capital R that is the radius of the circle is 29 meter. So now as per the property as for the properties of triangle OPD we have Theta. So theta equals to that is the this angle, and we can also take theta as the slope at D that is here. 
flow at D. So flow at D theta equals to so slope at T that is theta equals to sine inverse ten by R. Ten means DP DP equals to ten meter. That is D is this point and P is this point. So we have twenty point one seven degree. So the slope at D, so the slope at D is twenty point one seven degree. We did this calculation that is to calculate the slope at D. We have applied the simple trigonometrical concept of rectangle OPD that is this. So, from the simple trigonometrical concept of triangle OPD, we have the calculation that is slope at D which is theta equals to 20.17 degree. And, uh, let me remind of uh, one point that is the DP equals 10 meter. So how did we get DP equals 10 meter? As you can see that from a to D we have 10 meter and from A to this point we have 20 meter as this is the central point of the arch so geometrically this distance is 10 meter. So this is D P. The same thing applies here. This is D P that is 10 meter. So by this calculation we get the value of D P equals to 10 meter and we put the value of dp at here and then we can and then we calculate the slope at d that is theta and we get theta equals to 20.17 degree let me give the detailed calculation of this so how do we get this so as per the trigonic so as per the trigonometrical concept of triangle OPD we get that is from triangle O P T this is P this point is P so we have DP by O D equals to sine theta and from this theta equals to sine inverse 
db by o d so then we put the value of dp and we get this calculation so we have 20.17 degree as we have already mentioned that dp equals to 10 meter and od is the r that is 29 meter so we have calculated the value of theta now in order to calculate the normal thrust normal thrust and shear at point d first we need to calculate the vertical shear at d so vertical shear at d is v equals to v a minus 20 into 10 so the summation of all the vertical forces up to point d is this one so v a we have 325 minus 200 and we have 125 kilonewton to bring the value of p to calculate the normal thrust we have normal thrust n equals to v sin theta plus h cos theta and we get this from the property of three hinge arch that is the property of three hinge arch and we and we have already get the value of h from the calculation that h equals to 312.5 kilonewton and we have v equals to 125 this is v so putting the value of v and h in this calculation we have so 125 sine 20.17 degree plus h equals to 312.5 into cos 20.17 degree we get the normal thrust equals to 336.437 kilonewton and we have the shear that is q equals to v cos theta minus h sine theta then again putting the value of v and h we get 125 cos 20.17 degree minus 312.5 sine 20.17 degree we get q equals to 9.575 kilo Newton. So, as per our calculation, we get normal thrust that is n equals to 
336.437 kilonewton and the shear q equals to 9.575 kilonewton thank you